Hello everybody, this is uh, Sin City Preacher. I wanted to get a close-up look at my new shirt. It was a birthday present uh, from uh, Daniel and Joy Palmquist. Now in the past, uh, I, I've done some videos on uh, biblical and uh, Christian apologetics, and uh, there are many other great channels on YouTube that are doing a great job uh, discussing those subjects. And we, we present historical, archaeological, scientific, and pro t uh, prophetic evidences uh, to show that the Bible is true. Uh, but there's an area of proof uh, that I want to discuss today that uh, I th is kind of neglected and uh, it, it should not be dismissed. It's very important. And I want to sh uh, share some of my own personal experiences with you. Um, these experiences have uh, just um, confirmed my faith and strengthened my faith. Um, in December 31st, uh, New Year's Eve 2005, uh, we were having a meeting uh, with a number of street preachers that came into Las Vegas from around the country, uh, making a plan so that we can go out and preach that night uh, to uh, uh, the people celebrating on New Year's Eve. Uh, the problem was, um, if you if you check the weather records and go back to December 31st, 2005, about 5 p.m., uh, it was pouring down raining so hard. It, it was raining as hard as I've ever seen it rain in my life. Um, so obviously, uh, we couldn't go out and preach in that rain. And in addition to the rain, we had wind that was probably at least 40 or 50 miles an hour. It was blowing uh, lawn furniture off of the patio. So. In that kind of wind and rain, we couldn't go preach because the whole event of New Year's Eve would have had to have been canceled. Uh, there would have been no tourists to preach to anyway. So uh, we had a problem. And of course, as Christians, we resorted to prayer. So we began praying that the weather would change and it would be good weather so that we could go preach. And within a matter of minutes uh, after we prayed, uh, it was like uh, the Lord just took a, a water faucet and just turned it off just like that, that quickly. The rain completely stopped. The wind completely stopped. It was, and it was a calm, clear night the rest of the time. Um, it, it was, the, the change was so dramatic. Uh, it just was amazing. Well, <clears throat> so about 20, of us uh, street preachers that went out and preached to about 400,000 drunken, drugged out, crazed uh, uh, New Year's Eve revelers uh, telling them that uh, they need uh, Jesus Christ. So it was a great night. Um, but this kind of thing uh, since then has happened to me many, many times. So many, I, I can't share them all with you, but I'll, I'll um, give you a couple more examples. Um, um, I intended on uh, preaching on a, uh, one evening, and uh, my friend uh, Warren called me up uh, earlier in the day, and we made plans to go out that night together. And then later on, he called me and said, "Are you are you still going to go out there? This weather's really bad. It's uh, raining and uh, hard." So I said, "Yeah, don't worry. It, it's not going to rain. It never rains uh, when I preach." Uh, so. He said, well, okay. Well, it was about um, 7.30 p.m., and I'm driving over to the Bellagio Hotel, uh, and uh, I got a phone call from Warren. He says, what are you doing? I said, well, Warren, I, I thought I was meeting you here. I'm, I'm on my way to the Bellagio. He says, it's, it's raining really hard. I, I said, Warren, just go over in faith, and it, it's not going to rain. Don't worry. Well, Warren drove over and met me over there, and it rained all the, t all the time I was driving over there. And once we parked our cars in the self-parking area, walked down to the strip, um, the, the rain, not one drop of rain fell on us. We preached for a couple of hours, not one drop of rain fell on us. And then uh, we went up to the self-parking area to drive away, and I'm getting ready to pull out in my car. I got a phone call from Warren from his car. He says, guess what? I said, what? He said, it's raining. <laughs> So we had a window of opportunity. The Lord again did what he's done so many times. He just stopped the rain. It rained before and it rained after. But while we were preaching, it would not rain on us. Uh, the Lord wants the good news preached. This has happened so many times that uh, I've just 
expect it. Um, probably the, the last May, I was having a yard sale at my house, and a friend of mine was helping me. And uh, she said, I guess you won't go preaching tonight because it, it had started raining really bad. We had to stop the yard sale. I said, oh, yeah, I'm, don't worry, I'm going to go out tonight. He said, well, you can't go out there in this rain. I said, it's not going to rain. It never rains when I'm preaching. So, uh, <clears throat> sure enough, I'm, um, I, I'm driving over there, and my friend, uh, this time Frank, called me up, who was going to meet me there, and he's, uh, he was surprised that I was still going over there because it was raining. I said, just go in faith, Frank, and you know, it's not going to rain on us. So he, he agreed to go. Uh, but this time I decided that I would wanted something uh, different because I don't want anyone to be able to say this is just coincidental. So I began praying, Lord, tonight give me a sign that I can, that I can show people and, and just brag to the world about you. And uh, so have it rain all over the valley here, uh, but, but, and, and have it uh, dark skies and rain everywhere, but right above Las Vegas Boulevard, which runs north and south, just make it open up like the Red Sea opened up and have no rain fall during that, down that corridor. And um, sure enough, uh, that's exactly what happened. Uh, uh, now, I know most people watching this, you don't know me, and you probably think I'm either you know, lying, making this up, or I'm delusional, but uh, those are the facts. And uh, fortunately, on many of those occasions, I do have you know, witnesses, people who were there with me during those occasions. So I, I, I just want to take this opportunity to, to lift up the name of Jesus and glorify his name. He wants the good news preached, and he, uh, he can uh, walk on water, he can calm the storm, and he'll do that for us so that we can preach the good news. So that's a wonderful sign, and things like that have strengthened my faith.